Okay, welcome to a very important moment in the history of the Geek Club. For this video, the Geek Club shall be referred to as the Paternity Ward, because you're about to witness the birth of a new master computer. The computer that controls the Geek Club, that makes all the videos. Now, as you'll know, this is the remains of the last master computer which after fixing the video card twice uh, the video card went again and well it didn't survive the oven and it died a painful death this will be reassembled cleaned up and put into the archive of geek history but after scrimping saving and a little bit of help we've got a new one and this is always an important moment in a geek's life when he gets a new laptop. Mm. Now, I uh, don't know about you guys out there, but just before we do that, uh, I don't actually use the keyboard or mouse pointer on the laptop. I use separate ones, so a Usabot, a Logic Wired Multimedia Keyboard. Uh, I need this for Blender because these don't have all the keys and stuff on them. And I don't like using the keys on these because they go shiny and that makes it look horrible. And one thing that some of you may question my sanity, but I also use trackballs instead of mice. Uh, let me get this out. It's nice to see a return of trackballs to PC World where we got this from. Because I haven't stocked them for a while. And I always preferred trackballs to mice. Several reasons for this. Number one, uh, I'm from an air traffic control background, so we're used to using uh, trackballs at work when I was in air traffic control. So I just found trackballs easy to use, and using a laptop, sorry for all the background noise here. Come here! I can't get out of my ball! Yeah, there we go. Uh, yes, um, using a laptop. I find a trackball better because you're not moving it around the desktop and sits still. And yes, my last one lasted seven years and now I've got a new one which has got this handy wrist as well. And a scroll wheel, which I've never seen on, on a trackball before. So it's nice to see them making a comeback. £25 for that as well, so the price is not too bad either. Now for the big event, the birth of the new master computer. Uh, need keys. Okay, let's get this bugger open. Mm, no. This is for reference a HP Pavilion G6 uh, 1325SA. If that means anything to you, but it probably doesn't. It's a dual core AMD jobber, 4 gigs of memory, 500 gig hardy drive. And pay attention folks, because this will be, if you're communicating with me, or any of them, this will be the computer that I'm responding to you from. Uh, this will be making all my videos, etc, etc. And here she comes, slowly. Oh, oh loads of stuff. Let's put that over there, because that's the power and stuff. Uh, yeah, don't want that. Uh, start here, yeah, like I need that. Uh, put them out the way. PC World uh, did suggest a, uh, a guide DVD that tells you how to use a computer and the option of a home setup. But he said uh, to you, that would probably be an insult. So I didn't take that option. Right. Okay. And here she comes. Ooh, she's very light. Very small battery as well. Mm, laptop. There she is. Oh, still got her stuff on. Excuse me, but we are limited in space. And here she is. Mm, laptop. Yeah. Add open. Mm, laptop. 
There we go. Dual core E2A Vision AMD Windows 7 Premiere Experience Dual Core AMD Radio and Graphics. Uh, you don't want to see the rest because that's just the gump, power brick, and stuff. But it's really pretty. Now, your computer with your trackball and your keyboard, which is over there somewhere. So. I shall now go away, get this thing working, I shall show you fired up, I'm not going to show you starting up because that will bore you to tears, and then I shall use this very computer to render the video you're watching now. Isn't that a scary thought? Right, let's get it set up and then we'll have a quick look at what you've never seen before, my desktop. See you in a minute. Just an intermediate video here, we just pulled out some extra stuff and I've noticed things are shrinking. This is the battery, which is tiny, and it actually says uh, notebook battery on it. So, this is smaller. My wife's got a similar model from 16 months ago, and uh, it's the battery is smaller than, than on hers. And the power adapter too is shrinking all the time. These are tiny now compared to, well, even just a few years ago, these are huge. So. It's going to set you up, my pretty. Oh yeah. Alright, it is now 24 hours later. Uh, sorry for the low light, but here she is. Set up in an operational location in the living room. Alcohol. Uh, you can see the keyboard and trap there. This is the position I use it to edit videos and everything in the day. So, there she is. She's now mostly set up ready to edit videos and stuff so I'll just have a quick look at and quick patrol of my desktop and stuff this is a first here we go right we could actually turn this into a bit of a tag if you want so here's my uh, new beauty and here's her screen and the desktop I don't know how well you can see this on the camera but uh, recycle bin google chrome uh, episode of uh, Sherlock I was watching last night. It's the last one from the last series. Very good. Go off, off iTunes in HD. And this is the folder for my Retro Game of VX. And this is my everyday folder. Uh, up here's all my video tools. So in there is Audacity, Blender, Vegas Pro. And down here is my channels folder. So this has got all the files for making videos so all the files for the intro all the blender files like models and stuff all the documents uh, all my effects and sounds are kept together uh, that's some of the for details of forms I use game maker that's a program I don't use much uh, all my high scores for classic games information on the Raspberry Pi more graphics some videos ideas are kept in there uh, more titles and credits uh, stuff from older versions and uh, some Vegas stuff all my videos in progress that I'm editing at the moment are kept in there so I'm not going in there uh, that's stuff to do with the website and that's WinVice uh, I'd scroll down but I can't because my uh, uh, yeah, some of my completed videos are down there that uh, haven't been uploaded yet so there's still secret, but what I can quickly show you is Vegas Pro booting up, and this is another first. I'll just show you the template for all my videos. So, once Vegas has booted up, and I've got rid of that, move this up a bit, and there you go. For those of you who understand this, this is the template for my videos as my intro uh, transporter doo -doo -doo. there's the vortex itself down the bottom if I zoom out you can see all the effects for the vortex uh, soundtracks and there's my outro Ta -da! you can see all the tracks that uses uh, not all parts of this are used for every video, so they get deleted if they're not in use. So, there you go. There's my new computer, which has just rendered the video you're watching now. Very spooky. So, hope you enjoy, and uh, thanks for watching, and yes, this is my new computer.
Next video, hmm, may have some toilet roll in it. May. Thank you very much.